I have a tendency to deal with one disaster by making an even bigger one. A perfect example was last night. I was angry, I went out, and I made everything worse. Now I just need to take a step back and regroup. Really? Because it sounds to me like you're just hiding out. No. Nothing wrong with counting to ten. You lost me. Doesn't matter. Look, there's no hope for my hair or for Todd's wardrobe. But I need to stop and think for a minute. I need to think about what I did to get myself here and to stop it from happening again. That's one way of looking at it. You have a better idea. Well, if I were in your shoes, and by the way, those shoes are fabulous, I would walk downstairs, get my hair fixed, put on my best dress, find that buster, and parade in front of him and let him know he didn't ruin my life. Carly would forgive me. Well, Carly is a difficult woman to predict. She can be volatile, and that's putting it mildly. You know, Jason used to pay me triple to handle Carly. Oh, oh, oh hold on. If Carly was married to Jax, so why would Jason be paying you to represent Carly at all? Jason and Carly were friends. That's the only story I ever got. Yeah. Carly said she was my friend. She told me she would have stood by me if I had just told her the truth. She probably would have. Hold on. You flat out told me that I should never tell Carly anything about me hurting Jason. Carly was in the first throes of grief. It is also never legally advisable for you to confide in someone who may be later called to testify against you. Now, having said all of that, I think I may have misread Carly. Because for all of her faults, She's a remarkably loyal woman. So yes, I think she might have stood by you if you'd just told she, her the truth. Now, you t she tells me this now. You're telling me this now? There's nothing I can do to fix it. All right, well, as long as we are telling truths, if I had set aside my professional concerns and said, fine, Todd, tell Carly everything, bare your soul, would you have done it? Didn't think so. <laughs> what did I say? No, nothing, nothing bad. I just... I, I want to make sure there's no misunderstandings between us, okay? Like, I think you're great. I, I, I really, I really like you. I think you're smart, you're sexy, you're, you're beautiful, and, and I really want to keep seeing you. It's just... Okay. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> this is all new for me. I'm trying to navigate dating and, and doing what's best for Emma. And, and I... It's hard for me to kind of look into long-range plans. And if that doesn't fit into your schedule or if you, that's something that you don't want, I understand that. It's just... I no, no, no. I, I, I get it. You know, I've never been a long-range kind of girl, so whatever you need. Sure, great. So we can, we can do this. We can have fun one, one day at a time. Yeah, it works for me. Why would Felix tell you not to discuss the nurse's ball with me? Oh, you know, Felix, he loves to create. Yes, Sabrina. And I know you too. You are one of the worst liars I have ever met. Oh, well. I, <laughs> I am your supervisor. You tell me the truth right now. Why didn't you tell me about the nurse's ball? Well, Felix said she has no sense of fun. I have no sense of fun? Well, I'm one of the most fun people that I know. Oh, you're so fun. You know, wait until I get my hands on him. I'm gonna show that boy who's fun. <gasps> Honey, a woman like you should never show her hand, especially to some undeserving man. You make a good point. Thank you. Anytime. How much do I owe you? Sorry? You saved me from a horrible hangover. You gave me great advice. You deserve to be compensated. What do you want? A discount for the ballroom? For the nurse's ball? I can do better than that. I'll donate it. You, you can have it. For nothing. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. It's yours. You're good. <laughs> uh, can I get that in writing, you know, for the committee? Yes, yes, yes. Write whatever you want, and I'll sign it. 
You are a goddess. Todd Manning is a fool. He is. Because I was going to be his best friend. But he blew it. And now is not the time for me to curl up and bury my head. As scraggly as it may be. You cannot let him just get away, Mac. Listen to me. He's a blood sucker. You can't just turn him loose on the town. Are you crazy? Is that your statement, Bain? Hey! Hey! Nice job. Check out top that. You promised me you wouldn't use that word. I have You no know what's gonna happen to me at ELQ? Choice. She's nuts. I had to use the insanity plea. So what am I, collateral damage? Look at it this way. At least she's not going to jail. Package delivered, McBain. You're free to go. I miss all the fun. I ain't going anywhere. Okay, well, try not to suck anybody's blood during the arraignment. All right, boys, boys, play nice. Come on. Oh, allow me. Mm. Mm. I know I sound like a broken record, but thank you again for listening to me and, and understanding. No, um, you're right. Why, why ruin a good thing? Uh, hey, um. I was looking for you. You were? Yeah, you, uh, you left your case at my house. Oh, thank you. Let's go get some coffee. Okay. Carly, you look uh, different. You look amazing. Thank you. So happy you came. Don't be. I only came to see you charged. Okay, time to focus. I am focused. <clears throat> now you listen to me. When the judge asks you how you plead, you say, you say not guilty, you don't say anything else. I'm going to handle all of the arguments. Now I'm going to ask for bail, but of course they will not grant bail. <clears throat> because- All rise, court is now in session. Young judge Adam Horowitz presiding. May be seated. Who's before us? Todd Manning, Your Honor. Diane Miller defending, Your Honor. I see you, Ms. Miller, and your client. Oh, yes, Mr. Manning. Let's see, fraud, bribery, kidnapping, attempted escape from custody, spoilation of evidence. How do you plead, Mr. Manning? I am not guilty. Your Honor, at this time, I would like to request bail. I do not- The person who did those things is not me. Look, 